else is everybody. And Tyler. <laughs> yes, I see that. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. How you doing? Now, Mark, why are you acting so friendly? I mean, the last time you acted this friendly, you hit my car. You hit my car again, didn't you? Hit your car? You got them red cones all around it. So we have an announcement to make. Listen up, everybody. Vanessa, go ahead and tell them. Oh. Oh. Well, OK, here goes. Huh? Mark and I are together. Yes, we know you're together. We're looking right at you. Yeah. No, what I mean is <clears throat> Mark and I are dating. <laughs> you're dating each other? You and Mark, you're dating each other? <laughs> oh, my God, you're serious, aren't you? Well, yes, we're serious. <laughs> oh, well, I think that's great. All my two favorite people in all the world have found each other. I just think that, that I was, I'm going to cry. No, I'm not. Yes, if you will. So you two are going steady. I think that's great. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's great. <laughs> no, that ain't cool at all. Mark, you stole my woman. <laughs> oh, Tyler. Now, listen, we're still friends, me and you. It's just that I'm with Mark now. <laughs> give it up, give it up Any place, any time you got to give it up for the brother He's got it going on Cooper, Cooper Gonna tear the house down I'm a hero playground, a little scratchy in there. Oh, honey, that's awful. Now, did you tell your teacher about this? Don't worry, Miss Lee. <laughs> if this Gary bothers her again, me and my homies got Nikki's back. <laughs> homies, Tyler? Yes, Miss Lee, homies. Thunder, pow, lightning, kaboom. <laughs> Stay out of it, Mr. Milk Mustache. You know, you could have said something. <laughs> hey, guys, how was the picnic? Oh, Geneva, it was a perfect day. We had lunch, we hiked, we ran in a canoe, and Mark carved our initials in the tree, didn't you, Marco? Ooh. <laughs> and your Marco's got a hundred dollar ticket for the face of public property. You? <laughs> but you know what? That was the best one hundred dollars I ever spent. Mm. So, <laughs> so, do you two lovebirds have plans for tonight? Uh, yeah, we do, Geneva. Oh, well, that's too bad because Ken and I are going to the karaoke bar. We. Oh, well, next time, man. Yeah. yeah. Next time, man. Next we said, hey, we missed that. Well, we ain't never going to care no. about it. A good save, though, Chief. She think we're going out tonight. Well, we are, Mark. We're going out to dinner with Ben and Barb. Wait a minute. Ain't nobody told me we're going out to dinner with no Ben and Barb. I, I thought we were going to stay home and watch the game tonight. My favorite team is playing. Well, I thought last night was your favorite team, baby. <laughs> no, no, no. Last night was my favorite player. Tonight is my favorite team. <laughs> Come on. Well, well, where does it end, sweetheart? Do you have a favorite referee? 
I'm the junkie, junk, junk, junk. You should do stand up, really. <laughs> you know I don't have a favorite rapper, Relo Peanut here. Uh -huh. Come here, quack, quack, quack. quack. <laughs> well, all right. Well, they'll be here any minute, so get dressed. I don't want to go with Billy Barr. <laughs> People are born. They have Monopoly tournaments at their house. <laughs> I want to stay here and watch the game with you. Now, Mark, it's too late to cancel. Please. No. Please. Now listen to AM radio. Oh, please. No. Please, Marcos. Mm, no, I can't oh. say no when you give me that face and say Marcos. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I just hope they don't go to none of those weird restaurants they like to go to, you know. collect the $200 and had to go directly to jail. But the funny thing is, is that... No, 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 no. Let me tell it. Barb had a get-out-of-jail-free card, and when no one was looking, she passed it to me under the table. She saved me 50 bucks. Oh. <laughs> How interesting. A Monopoly tournament. Wow. <laughs> Hope you like rice. They work magic with it here. You know, rice is high in nutrients. However, when polished, much of its vitamin B content is lost. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to order? Yes, Ahmad. We'll have the Moroccan feast for four. Very good, sir. Mark! Oh. Mark! Oh. Oh. Getting a cramp in my leg. Pretend to be having fun for no, me. I can't pretend. The man talking to me about rice. Ri plain rice. Mark. Mark, I mean, I'm always doing stuff that you want to do. Like, I went to that stupid boxing match with you and Lydell. But that was fun. And this is fun. No, this is torture. I'd rather be at home with you watching a nice basketball game instead of being out with BBB, Born, Ben, and Barb. <laughs> No, no, I'm not talking about you. It's a couple in Seattle, um, Ben and Barb. Same name. They're born. I mean, real born. You know, you guys are the fun Ben and Barb. Rice, rice, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we sit down? Huh? Can I lay down? We sit. We ain't got no chance. Just How we gonna sit, sit down? <laughs> here we are. Well, here we go. You two kids are going to love the Moroccan feast. Now, this is the couscous. Couscous, huh? Uh, can I get a fork fork? <laughs> Mark, the meal is traditionally eaten with the hands. Oh, well, traditionally I eat with a fork. <laughs> so you do your tradition, I do mine, okay? Can I get a fork, please? <laughs> You guys was working here? You know the belly dancers, Mark? Yeah, that's Mina and Vina, girl. <laughs> uh, did you go out with them? Huh? No, no, actually, I'm, um, Steve, Steve, they were in Steve's car. <laughs> Ooh, I was actually in the car with them, yeah. I was... We had fun that night. <laughs> Come on, Mark, let's dance. <laughs> no. to me, Mark. How could you humiliate me in front of my friends? Hey, you knew I didn't want to go. Why'd you make me go? <laughs> Sit down, Mark. Thank you. <sighs> you know, Mark, it seems as if lately we spent a lot of time doing things that one of us doesn't want to do. I could think of a couple of things that me and you like to do. <laughs> yeah, well, those couple of things are not enough to base a relationship on. Which, which couple of things you think of? <laughs> about it, Mark. Neither one of us can stand each other's friends. I like the theater. You like sports. I like museums. You like sports. 
I, I like to go places I've never gone and do things I've never done. And you like sports. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying to you? Yeah, I think you need to develop an interest in sports. <laughs> well, see, Mark, that's what I mean. I mean, me and you are just from two completely different worlds. I mean, you should get a woman who wants to sit on the sofa and watch a game with you. And somewhere out there is a man who wants to sit on a pillow and eat with his fingers, and I'm going to find him. Well, you do that, because I'm going to find me somebody, too. Well, good, you do that. I'm going to find me somebody. I'm going to find a woman who likes to go to restaurants with chairs and silverware. What's up, Vanessa? Oh. <laughs> so, 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 uh, so, so, where you going all dressed up, smelling good? Oh, no, we're just a date. <laughs> uh, you don't think this dress is too short, do you? No, I ain't noticed, no. Mm. <laughs> Vanessa, say hi to your date, Stan. He's our trainer. <laughs> nice to meet you, Vanessa. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, too, Stan. That's quite a grip you've got there. <laughs> <laughs> quite a head you got there, too. <laughs> This. I forgot my keys. Let me pack this. about to be me, thunder and lightning. Yeah, you real tough, you real bad, ain't you? Boy, I'll rough you up a little something, something, boy. <laughs> rough you up, make you hurt. Boy, I will pound you like a Salisbury stick. You want some of this? <laughs> I will send you on crying to your mama. Now give her back her body. OK, OK, I don't want any trouble. Here, go on. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, I know. You ain't got to say nothing. I know I'm the man. You're the idiot. What? You scared him away. Yeah, but he was bothering you. Yeah, and now he may never bother me again. Did I miss something here? Hey, Mark. Hey. Going out again tonight? Gee, it seems like you've been out every night this week. Yeah, you know, you know, I have been out every night this week because the ladies love MC. I love the single life. It's good for me. Really, Miss Vanessa, don't What you makes you think I miss Vanessa? Because you're pouring milk all over the counter. Oh, oh boy, boy. Well, I admit it. I'm right. I miss the woman. I'm miserable without her. Ah! She's the only woman who knows my mood. She can make my peanut butter and jelly sandwich just the way I like it with double jelly. <sighs> I'm miserable without that woman, and I blew it. Look, Mark, why don't you just tell her how you feel? I can't. I have my pride, all right? Uh, what? Well, what are you and your pride doing this evening? We're doing things. We have a lot of things. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, yeah, okay, we well, do. what? I'm taking Tyler down to Burger Bob's because he's depressed, all right? Mm -hmm. Community outreach program, trying to help the children. Mm -hmm. I need to get some bigger cups in the house. I wouldn't have missed it. What happened here? Oh, girl, just a little accident. So, are you going out again uh, this evening? Yes, I am. Boy, you know, I just love a single life. Mm. It is just so... I have met some fine guys. Mm. And talk about the best restaurants in town. I've been to all of them. Oh, you really miss Mark, don't you? Girl, no. What makes you think I miss Mark? Because you have your jacket on inside out. <laughs> yeah, right, Geneva. I do miss him. 
really do. I'm just miserable. No matter who I'm out with, all I do is think about Mark. He always knows what I'm thinking. Sometimes before I even think it. He's the one for me, Geneva, and I've blown it. Oh, Vanessa, why don't you just tell him how you feel? I mean, I have a sneaking feeling that he feels the same way. If he felt the same way, then he'd know how I felt, and I wouldn't have to tell him. Look, when it comes to Mark, there's no such thing as too much information. <laughs> well, it's too late anyway. He's moved on. Well, you can't just sit around here feeling sorry for yourself. Why don't we just go to Burger Bob's? Nah, I don't know. Hey! Now, you wouldn't want Mark to come home and see how miserable you are. Yeah, you're right. I'll drive. Well, okay. <laughs> Funny thing about it is, I don't even know why Nicole's mad at me. I was just trying to help her. Well, the way I see it, she probably likes this Gary kid, and she's mad at you for scaring him away. So why did she just say so? Well, see, Tyler, sometimes people have a hard time expressing how they feel. Even when they're really crazy about somebody, they can't just come out and say what they really mean. So they got to kick back and watch the woman they really love just go out with a bunch of losers. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Somewhere in that paragraph, we stopped talking about me, didn't we? Oh, look, there's Mark and Tyler. Oh, oh I'm out of here. Ah, uh, no, you're not, Vanessa. Come on now, come on. Hi, Nicole. Hey, you want to go play some video games? So you're not still mad at me for messing up things with Gary, are you? Oh, uh, Gary's ancient history. Billy Sherman took my beret today, so he's bothering me now. <laughs> Now, Vanessa, if the children can make up, I am sure that you and Mark can, too. Well, Geneva, see, it's easy for the children. They're ten. Mark's about four. Am not. <laughs> oh, I'm going. I'm going. Oh, oh, not without your keys, you disturb you, but Nikki was playing in the ball cage and she dropped my keys in there, so I was wondering if you might be able to hop in there and just get them for me. Could you? Oh, you, you changed. You know that. I'm sorry. Thank you. But you got another date with Ben and Barb's big muscle head trainer? Well, I don't think that's any of your business, Mark. Why, you going out with the belly button twins, FEMA and emphysema? <laughs> don't, don't be silly. Now, you know I ain't got nothing going on with those girls. I found them. Good. So, um, you didn't meet anybody you liked? No, you know I ain't met nobody else. I'm so crazy. Every woman I go out with, all I can do is think of you. Well, that doesn't sound crazy. I once called a guy Mark. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? It was Mark. <laughs> but, but I was thinking about you when I said it. You know... I really... After you... Well, I just want to say, you know, from the heart, you know, I'm miserable without you. Oh, me too. Maybe we can go out sometime, go to a museum, you know, go see a play, oh, oh, oh opera, something. Are you going to do that for me? Yes, I will. Oh. What? Oh, Hi. Wait a second. You know, if we're going to get back together. I think there are one or two relationship things that we need to work out first. All right, I agree with that. One or two relationship things to work. What, which one or two things you're talking about, man? Well, you know, Mark, I mean, I'll do stuff you want to do. You'll do stuff I want to do, and neither one of us will complain about it while we're doing it. That's cool with me. All right? All right. 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 Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
and even thanks for giving us some time to ourselves. Oh, sure, girl. I understand that you need some alone time. Mm -hmm. Kids, I got some money for you. I want you guys to go to a movie, have some popcorn, some whatever you want. All of it on me. Thank you. Now, wait a minute. You giving us this kind of money to go see a movie, and you not going? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you about it when you get older, kid. <laughs> I still wish you two were coming. Oh, uh, next time. Oh, well, bye-bye, right, you guys. Peace. Peace. All, right. Go, go, go. <laughs> all right, see you. We got the house all to ourselves. Yes. Now, I wonder what we're going to do. I could think of something. <laughs> mm -hmm. I gave you money. I'm sorry. We, we have a flat tire. Oh, okay. Well, call the auto club then, okay? Oh, well, okay. I guess I will. And I guess I'll just have to wait right here until they come. Kids, have a seat. Uh, what? The kids have a seat? We're just doing nothing. Uh, okay, I, I'll change the time. Let's go, please. Everybody, mess up. Thank you very much. Come on. You can, you can hold a car. You need to learn how to do this. Now, that's easy. I'm just... Hike the car up and change. You can do that. Right. People learn quick when they when they really need to. 